Alrighty guys, it looks like I got you working. I got you pointed at the sink. I'm going to try to get this tank and stuff out. Show you guys right out of the hot water. The hot dye right into this cold. This is just cold water. And uh, dish soap. So there's that one. Good. There's the soap off so it doesn't spot real bad. This one's normally the hard one to get to. fingers let me pause you I'm gonna take these out to the shop and blow them out alrighty guys try to get this done as quick as I can I got the compressor off but Alrighty guys, sorry about that. I like to get as much water off as I can. Uh, the tank turned out great. I'm going to set that out uh, in the hood of my truck out in the sun. Because I want all the water uh, to evaporate off that real well. This looks like it took real good one little spot right in here. But uh, that's on the inside so I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, that piece turned out pretty good. Air filter cover. Looks like it took everywhere. Um, black shows everything. Let's see here. Two little spots. Probably had an air bubble. Uh, trapped in there and I didn't flip it good enough uh, but it's on the ins the inside so I don't think I'm going to worry about it probably could throw that in upside down in there for another 10 minutes or so it would probably probably be alright but uh, I don't know if it would make it any darker or not I think we'll leave it, it looks pretty good um, yeah so that's how I do the plastics and then uh, 
You got piston weight and pin weight wrote down there. The piston was 55 grams and pin was 16. I got a light and pin. I got it tore down. I got the machine work done. I did cut the chamber on this one. And I'm going a little bit exotic. And then uh, over there, I've got a piston all set up and I just rigged up the lathe tripod because uh, I'm going to make you guys a video on showing you how I modify them pistons but I'm going to call this a video uh, right here on this but uh, there's the blacked out parts you guys take it easy and have a good one